one. So that way we can just, you know, I can go through it and then you can replay it to people if you want to or have them watch the video, whatever whatever the case may be. So, you know, the, the core, uh, first of all, we're an international provider. We work with a lot of very big brands, um, a lot of corporate deals, um, you know, where we handle hundreds and hundreds of locations for various entities. And we do everything. Uh, our strategies mainly consist of inbound and outbound marketing. So, you know, it's sometimes it's uh, I usually just for ease, just break it down into two sides. OK, one is I'm going to talk about loyalty marketing and how gyms, you know, could uh, utilize our tools to communicate with their current members to k increase the, you know, to keep them coming, to give them health tips to send them videos, to let them know about new things they've got going on, and of course to drive revenue, like, you know, upsell their, um, you know, or to, or to get them to sign up for personal training, or to get them to use the tanning beds, or any of the, you know, buy supplements, or any of the kinds of things that gyms do to increase the amount of money they make off any individual person. We worked with 24-Hour uh, Fitness years ago on a program that they called One More Month, right? And they knew the life cycle of their average customer that they, you know, stayed on, you know, whatever it was, 13 months was, I think, their average. And so they said, you know, if we can just get everybody that ever signs up to stay one additional month, that increases our revenues by millions of dollars across the board, right? So that's, you know, another one of those scenarios. And then the second piece that we talk about is lead generation. How can you actually drive new membership? And how can you use the tools that we provide and in, in, uh, in, in embed them uh, into the other traditional marketing that you might be doing? Radio, television, print, you know, events, all that kind of stuff. So the, the core of it is that, you know, everybody has a mo mobile phone. We know that. We know that when you send a text message out to people that they get 98% overall open rates. So everybody looks at it, reads it, 20% click-through rates which is crazy. You know, they'll click through to a, a link, watch a video, look at the offer, whatever it is. When you compare that to email campaigns, you know, a lot of times you're getting 20% open rates and 1% click through rates or one out of a hundred versus 20 out of a hundred. Right? So when you just factor those things in, you know, there's a lot of opportunity there if brands use it right. And if they build their databases in a compliant manner and they do really good things. So how would it work? Well, I had originally said ABC Financial could add it uh, with a very easy API call into their current point of sale system so that when you know Saul came in and scanned his card at the counter or checked in at the counter, it would then, you know, you guys could put a pop-up notification to say Saul has never opted in for text messaging. So at that point, they could then type the mobile number right into your point of sale system and it would instantly send him a text message confirmation right to his phone. That required the technical team, and there was pushback with everybody on that in the first place. So we said there's a lot of other ways to be able to do it. The easiest and best way to do it without an integration, which is perfectly fine, somebody could start tomorrow using a tablet. And that tablet would look like, let me see, I've got another one here. You know, it might look like this, where they, you know, a guest walks in, checking in at the counter, and the uh, person, the attendant at the, at the desk, if there is one, you know, says, hey, if you type your mobile number in uh, the tablet there, you'll be entered for a chance to win a free membership for a year. Or if you type your mobile number in the tablet, you'll get a coupon for personal training or whatever it is they're doing a coupon for today. And they have everybody that, you know, is actually walking in the door and checking in to type their mobile number in. You could also do the same thing at new customer registration. Well, there's a big opportunity at new customer registration because when uh, you know a new person signs up, they're excited to come to the gym and they want to and they want to make health changes. Well, when you're registering them and you're sitting down with them at the table and you're doing all the paperwork, the last thing you do is you pull out the tablet, you set it in front of them and you say, type your mobile number in there because what we do is we send out health tips and fitness tips and training tools and things that will help you get started quickly while well, they type their mobile number in. Well, these people go get in the new membership autoresponder. So now they get a text message that says, thank you for joining. 
the day day two, they get a text message at 10 o'clock in the morning that says, um, you know, here's, th you know, watch this three minute video on three tips on how to use the gym better. Day three, they get another one that talks about whatever. Day four, they get another one. Day seven, they get another one. Day 12, they get another one. And now it kind of helps them, reminds them to set their schedule to do all that, you know, so they, so a gym could actually set up how many texts do they want and what do they want those texts to be. And that would be really easy to set up. So that's just an example. Let me show you what one might look like in, and you can try it and ask questions or whatever. I've got, I've got two different demos set up. So this one is like a tablet landing page. You would, this URL is what you would send to the tablet itself. And when somebody walked in the gym, this tablet set in there and they could um, actually send the guest the, the confirmation. They could, so this would be like, they wouldn't even have to do it from a tablet. They could actually do it from their own computer if they opened up a new tab and had this open. And the person walks in the door and they say, hey John, thanks for coming in today. Um, we just need to confirm your mobile number if that's okay. And the, John says, oh sure. And he gives them the, their, his mobile number. So what's your mobile number? I'm going to confirm your mobile number real quick. Okay, and then, you know, they hit send text and submit. And now John would get a text message. So you just got a text message or, yeah, yep. And you want to read that to me? What does it say? It says to confirm... And so it looks just like that. To confirm your mobile number and receive your coupon, reply Y. So reply Y. Yep. Yep. Do Y. Hit send. <laughs> uh, maybe because you hit U first. Let me. Probably because. You lost your, that's okay, you probably lost your session there by mistyping. Uh, what was it again? Okay. Let's try it one more time there. So now we're directing them why they're here to go ahead and check in because your your gym session doesn't count unless you check in on Facebook, right? All right. Um, I'm, that was a joke. You know, people always say that. The, uh, the uh, you know, you're, if you go to the gym, you have to check in so that everybody knows that you're working out, right, on Facebook. Um, okay, so they click the link, and now it takes them to the actual mobile coupon. So if you click that link... Now each gym can configure their own coupons. So it's kind of like creating your own Groupon, so to speak. I mean, you can you can send out a message to your current members or to potential members because you're going to build I'll show you later how you build lists of potential members. And you send them a text message and you say, you know, hey, free personal training or, you know, hey, here's some tan sessions for you. Or, you know, here's some class sessions or supplements or whatever you want. You you could create this do the pictures, put in the copy, whatever you want it to be. It works like Groupon. They walk in, show their phone, click redeem, you can click redeem. It says, are you sure you want to redeem this coupon? They click OK, and then it actually redeems the coupon off of their phone. They can't ever use it again. They can't get that coupon again, and they've redeemed it. It's off their phone. So it is, it is like a one-time redemption coupon. They show this to the person at the counter. You know, when they click OK, it shows them the coupon code. They can scan it or key it in or whatever to their system, and boom, they give them the coupon and sell them the, you know, two sessions or whatever, whatever it was that they sold. So um, now that person's in the database, right? So now uh, that basically opens up the opportunity for that gym to send out messages to those people on, you know. They could send out two a week if they wanted to. They could send out, you know, three a week. There would be training tips or 
health tips or eating tips or all kinds of things, you know, how to use the, you know, tips on using the treadmill or how much cardio should you do in a day or anything like that. But they can also do things like, hey, membership drive weekend, free week trial for new members, forward this to your friends and ask people to forward to their friends and they click that link and sign up for a free trial, right? So you can leverage your current members to drive new members. You know, tanning specials all this week, $10 off your package, click there, that would be like a mobile coupon. They could send out, you know, I don't know things like, you know, uh, you know, they could potentially take their members that haven't been in for a while, send them a message about, you know, some workout tips. Although a lot of gyms have the theory that they want to let a sleeping dog lie if they're paying their membership and not coming in, leave them alone. <laughs> but you know, it's whoever's philosophy, right? Um, drink and supplement sale going on now. Five dollars off. Here's your coupon. Whatever. So you know statistically it's uh, and and we work with very sophisticated businesses that really measure their marketing when they send out their email campaigns they're getting great return on investment on those they spend x amount to send their emails out and out of those emails they get x amount of return and and it's profitable for them they do you know print and other things and they measure their marketing a lot of companies look for a four to one return well with mobile a lot of times businesses, because of the response rate, because of the redemption rate on the coupons and offers they send out, a lot of times they're seeing 8 to 1 or 12 to 1 or 20 to 1 sometimes return just because of how, you know, how, how great the response rate is when they actually promote this way. So just for easy math, you might be selling this to the gym. They build up a 1,000 members in their mobile database. They send out a message to those people offering whatever. They might get, you know, two or three or four percent response rate. Well, let's just say it's three percent. That's thirty transactions that they produce. Thirty transactions times whatever it is they sold. Maybe it's some supplements, maybe it's some tanning sessions that were, you know, twenty-five dollars a piece or whatever it was. Thirty times twenty-five, seven hundred and fifty dollars of revenue that they brought in, extra revenue, and the investment to do that might be nineteen dollars. Or 1.9 cents per th you know per message or $19 per thousand. Does that make sense? So real quantifiable return, you know, a single gym can certainly build a whole lot of people in their database, send out a few offers a month, produce, you know, that's 12,000 direct offers. If they're getting 3% conversions, you know, doing $9,000 of increased monthly revenue per gym just by doing a little bit of extra loyalty marketing via text, that's per location. You know, you multiply that out, that's over a million dollars. You know, if they've got a few locations, it could be millions of dollars of increased revenue for them, right? So, all right, let's take a look at another example. You want to? Um, okay, let me go back over here. I set this example up. This is one, now imagine if um, the members were walking in the door and the attendant at the door says, hey guys, um, if you type your mobile number in there, you'll be entered to win a free, we're giving away one free membership this month. So just type your mobile number in there, you'll be entered for a chance to win. And the people type their own mobile number in as they're checking in. They can just have the tablet sitting there on the counter or whatever, right? Uh, give me your mobile number one more time. We'll try this one. Okay. And then the next person walks up and they can type their mobile number in, right? Yep, so reply Y, you get the mobile coupon, you know, so the person is confirming, obviously. They reply Y, they get the they get the mobile coupon. Now they can, um, they can also, it, it could encourage them to share it. So let's talk about social sharing for a second. With a lot of people, we run what we call incentivized social sharing programs. So someone can take, and let me see if this slide has it. So they get a coupon on their phone. Maybe the gym attendant or somebody sitting there says, or as they're walking out, they're done with their session. You know, whatever it is. They say, hey, you know, if you take and share that, coupon that we just sent you for the, um, you know, five day, you know, five day free membership. Um, if you'll click the share button there and, and click share, 
we'll give you this towel or this free t-shirt, this gym t-shirt, or this, this drink or whatever. We call it incentivized social sharing. So it's like the person actually has this box of towels and they say, hey, if you'll hit share right now on there and then hit Facebook and then it posts right to your Facebook page. Now type something in there, you know, like, hey, this is a great gym. You know, we're giving away free membership. You should try it out or whatever. And then boom, you hand them the towel. They post it to their social network. When they post it, people, it shows up in their feed and then their friends actually see it and their friends live and work in that same area, right? So you start doing the math on that. It's incredible free advertising because, you know, the average Facebook person has about 220 friends. You know, if you get 20 people a day to share that mobile coupon, we just got 4,400 exposures of your mobile coupon out there on, for free on social media or for the cost of, you know, your 20 t-shirts that you paid $4 for or whatever that is. Those people then can click that link in that, uh, you know, if they want that, they, they click on it. And when they click on it, then it takes them to a spot where they enter their own mobile number and then they get the coupon sent right to their phone and then walk in and show the coupon or they call in or schedule their time or whatever. So, you know, it's kind of taking your current customers, incentivizing them to share, and then all of a sudden you're bringing in new people that you otherwise would never have reached through your traditional marketing or anything else. All right? Pretty neat, huh? It does. Yep. Well, this would opt them into a, um, depending on how you did it, it might opt them into um, your potential database, which would be people that are potential members that you would market to, you know, once a month or something and tell them about your membership drives or incentives or whatever to become a member. Um, but, you know, because you might not want to opt them into your main core, you know, current gym members, because usually you like to have two separate databases, one of people that have actually enrolled in real members, that way you can send them different stuff than you do people that, you know, you picked up as a potential member in somewhere, right? So, um, obviously, the, the second part of the equation here is how can you use this for lead generation, you know, with, through your traditional marketing. People put out, you know, their marketing materials, radio, television, they do events and things like that. What we teach people to do is put a center focus on your you know, on your ad, if it's a radio spot and you're saying, you know, hey, you know, kickboxing is awesome and it really burns calories and whatever you're saying on your radio spot. But then you say to them, you want to see what the inside of the gym is really like? You want to see what classes are really like and how fun they are? Text boxing to 72727. Well, now everybody that hears that radio spot that is actually interested, they text in to see that video right on their phone, Right. Now they get like this virtual walkthrough of what the gym is really like, but they also go into your lead database. Now, even if they don't come in or sign up now, we know that they potentially were interested. So we build that database. Now we can send them a message next month and say, hey, come in, we'll give you a free class or, you know, whatever you send out to them. So now you can remarket to those leads that you captured off of that radio spot or that print piece or that you know you go to an event and you have a table set up at a booth well think about your trade shows but also think about your gyms when your gyms are out there doing their traditional marketing and they're at a they're at the fair and they've got a they buy a table what do they do they hand people stuff as people are walking by but instead what if they said hey we're going to send a video home with you about what the inside of our gym is like just type your mobile number in the tablet well everybody that walks by types your mobile number in the tablet they get a text message back with a link to the video, but they also capture those mobile phone numbers and now can remarket to those people after the event. You guys could do the same thing when you're talking to, you guys go to your next trade show. We could set up a ABC Financial tablet, kiosk landing page, right? And then people that walked by, you say, yeah, you know, we do a lot more than just provide you your point of sale system, but we provide you ways to actually grow your revenues. 
here, let me, I'm going to give you an example right to your phone. That way you can look at it when you get home. Just type your mobile number in the tablet there and we'll send, you know, they'll get, deliver everything you need to take with you. Well, now at that trade show, you may gather 50 mobile phone numbers or 100 or 200. Now your sales team can pick up the phone individually and call those people back right to their cell phone and say, hey, what did you, you know, you came by our booth. We appreciate it. You know, here's some of the stuff that we're doing. What do you think? You know, and see if any of those people are real leads. Does that make sense? No, it's really cool. Really cool stuff. You know, so you can see the before and after. There's a Gold's Gym. That's what we put out now. This is what we should put out. Right? So you guys can sell these. Oh, there's other. Th Wait, let me go over a couple things. A couple other things. Of course, they can put stuff on their website. Like, you know, people come to their website, look around. They can type their mobile number in a form on their website, instantly get a text message. So they can put, like, custom forms on their website for their marketing because a lot of them are doing PPC campaigns or, you know, really trying to drive SEO in their markets or whatever. And they're getting traffic to their site. Now with something like this, they can capture some of that traffic and then remarket to that traffic and, you know, drive them back in. So they can... Um, build databases of their own employees. A lot of companies really like this. So imagine, you know, if you're somebody that's got 400 locations, well, you may want a database of all of your general managers. You may want a database of all of your salespeople. You want, may want a database of, you know, all of your cleaning people. I don't know. Well, you can send them different messages. You can send them little videos, training tips. Um, a lot of people use it like, hey, we're going to have a conference call, you know, 2 o'clock on Tuesday. Make sure you get there. But then, you know, at 1.55 on Tuesday, they send a text message out to everybody and say the conference call starts in five minutes. Make sure you're on. Here's the phone number. And they have more people show up for those conference calls. Right? Stuff like that. So they could do any of that. You, could, you guys obviously can sell it to them. We wholesale you the application. So you guys get access to the whole application where you build your stuff. Um, the application looks like this, except it's going to have your logo on it and your URL. And when your customers log in, they can manage their own campaigns. And they can go and build their own tablet landing page, like I built this one just a little while ago to show you, right? And all I did was upload the logo, type in the offer, save it, and it created it. And then I just go over here, grab this link, send that to my tablet, and you open it up on the tablet. And there it is. And now people type their mobile number in, and and they're good to go, right? Um, they cr they go in, they create their mobile coupons, they click the menu, they go over to the marketing platform. It loads their, this is the text messaging part of the platform. Here, they could create a, a coupon blast. So they go into coupon blast, and they, I'm going to grab one that I've already done here. You know, they type out the offer, get $10 off, your blah, 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 whatever. It has a URL. When they click that URL, it takes them to the offer. Then they hit save and schedule, and they schedule that message to be sent out you know, on Saturday at, you know, whatever time in the morning or 2.49 p.m. Central Time. And then they schedule it to whichever database they want, and they hit launch, and it sends it at that time. Or they could send it immediately, right? Um, they create their keyword campaigns. They can schedule out their social media postings to Facebook and Twitter because it's got that scheduler in there. They can just send out a text offer they can send out a video to people real easy we've got these little landing page builders in here so um, it's like a little mobile website builder so you can basically create like say you're going to an event and you want to give somebody a video and so you do a I'm trying to think of one that I've got I think I've got do I, do I have any gym ones in here let me see here thought maybe I had an example on. Oh, I've got so much stuff in here. Uh, let's look at let's look at this one real quick, just for that kind of I don't even know if this is yeah. Alright, so here's like an example mobile site. Right? So let's say I'm going to an event. I can I can build a contact page real easy that looks really cool where they just click this stuff to call 
um, contact forms. You can create your own questions and answers with free forms. You can create lists of items, like you know, a menu of different things that they've got, like it shows here. You can do, you know, all kinds of things. But let's say that I'm going to go to my event, and that at the event I'm going to tell people, um, "Hey, you want to see my video?" Well, you just go and grab your video. And there we go. Here's a virtual tour. And we get the embed code. And we copy that. And we go right over here to our mobile website builder. And we've got uh, whatever copy is in there. We hit source code. And then we just go down here and drop in the video. Down here. Drop in that source code. And I usually change the width and the height just so it fits a little better. Hit save. So with, with without doing any code though, I just hit the upload button, upload a logo. Type in the stuff and then I can use this to change the sizes of it or bold it or whatever I want to do, right? And then I drop my video in there, there's the video. Now I copy this URL. And you know, without any developers or anything, you built this cool mobile site. Then I go into the marketing platform and I put it into a, a keyword campaign, for instance. So I go in here, hit keyword, hit create. And then I say, And then I can paste the URL in there. And I can shorten it if I want to with a little URL shortener. And then I can put a disclaimer in here. And then I hit save. Now if somebody typed the word Gold's 11 to the short code, they would get back a link to, you know, if they typed in, hit new text message at 63975, 63975 uh, typed in golds 11 they would get back that message and link right to that video but if we didn't want them to do that I could go into my tools go to my kiosk creator I could create a tablet landing page for it for my table at my event right and it was golds 11 I think to 63975 and I upload my logo and then I type in whatever. And then I change the size of it to whatever. And I can change the background colors. And I can change the button colors. And there it is. And then I just grab that URL. Did I save it? I need to save it. And there it is. Grab the URL. Now I take this with me to my trade show or my booth and people walk by type their mobile number in and get back that video what's your mobile number again yeah, I should have it memorized by now I know <laughs> so if you get that one click the link and I'll take you to that to that mobile site that we just built with that video on it It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of really cool features like that. Yep, and now you're watching the video. Do you guys currently sell email? Okay, and you have an email provider. Do you have your own email system? Oh, do you? Okay, because I was going to say we've got a built-in email system that's really awesome. Um, it's every bit as good of a constant contact or something like that, but you guys probably already have a lot of integrations with it, so you know you probably wouldn't want to mess with that. But
sure. Yeah. Yep. You, well, AB, ABC would get different short codes. We would give you access to at least a couple of them, two or three. Okay. Short codes are the are the phone numbers, right? So that's like the six three nine seven five seven two seven two seven two one seven seven seven. We've got lots of different ones. I'd give you access to three or four of them. But a client gets a short code. You would give you would assign you know you sign up a gym, you give them a short code, but they might have. Uh, 50 different key, what we'd call keywords that's the word that goes into the phone number that creates a database so let's say I've got tw let's say I've got 20 locations okay so I'm gonna put a tablet at all 20 locations I'm gonna actually create 20 different keywords I'm gonna create you know gym 1 gym 2 gym 3 gym 4 gym 5 gym 6 which signifies location 1 location 2 location 3 right and each one will have a different tablet landing page and now, you know, I'm building a database of all my current members at each of those locations. So if something happens specifically, we're going to event at just one of those locations. We can let the, that location know. We're going to close the gym for some reason. We're going to let just those people know, right? Because we've got a database of those. Well, now we go out and do some broadcast media. So we do a radio spot. Well, with that radio spot, we'd want to create a brand new keyword. Um, something that's easy to remember, that sounds good on the radio and they text into that, those people go into a different database. Those are your leads, right? Those are potential leads. When you, when you do a, you know, I don't know, uh, uh, then you do a print piece or something. Well, you do a different keyword for that. That way you can track, how did my print piece do? Right, so now you can get some trackability in there a little bit with the different types of marketing that you're doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys, you guys create your own pricing, right? So you guys, they're not, you're not restricted to anything. But you could set, you could sell it for whatever you wanted to. I mean, you might set stuff up for, you know, you might do it by location. What, you know, each location is ten dollars a month, straight across the board. That gives them access to everything, and then they just pay on a per message basis. That's a very easy way to understand it. So someone with one location, they can sign up for 10 bucks a month and they just pay per message and you're making money on each message they send, obviously. And you're making you know money on the $10. Let's say somebody has 200 locations. Well, they're paying two, $10 a month. That's $2,000 a month to you. Plus they're paying for uh, each message they send, right? Or you could create packages, you know, where higher packages that include more messages come with lower messaging rates. So some people can sign up for very easy starter plans. Other people, you know, they know they're bigger, so they're going to sign up for a bigger plan. So this is just an example of how you might set it up. But I would, I would really not recommend this pricing for you. This is just, just a visual, right? I would work with, I would work with you on what pricing I think would be good and competitive in the industry and et cetera, et cetera. So. So you guys pay us a, it's just a basic monthly license that gives you access to the application, multiple short codes. Uh, you know, it's white labeled for you. It goes on your URL. People can log in right from your website. And when they log in, it, they see your, you, you know, it's like it's your technology you're selling them, right? Um, 
that license, I will have to look up what your pricing is. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but it's like, I, th I don't know, I think it's around 750 bucks a month. Okay. 750, I think. Okay. I think somewhere around there. And then, um, cause I had different pricing for you. I had special pricing for you guys. Okay. Then we charge just on, on two, two other, well, really three other bases, but I'll, I'll go through it. So you got a monthly license. That's just your basic white label that gets you access to all the short codes, everything else. Let's just call it 750 per month for now. Yes, you can use, you can, yeah, you can use it for yourself, obviously. That's your license to be able to use it. And you're going to have the ability to resell it. And when you resell it, hold on real quick. 10 probably. I can't. I've got a four o'clock. Okay. All right. See you. I don't need anything either. Thank you. They were going to get gelato, and I'm not going to go. When you guys log in, you're on your home dashboard. But if you see over here where it says my accounts, you click my accounts, it opens up all your accounts. Now you can go in and look at their billing, change their, edit their account. You can go in and view their account as if you were them and see what they're looking at and help them with it. Right, so all this like ability to manage their accounts is right here. You know, it tells you how much, how much to charge them, based on how much they've used, all that kind of stuff. It's all, it's all right here for you. Okay, so it's the licenses for you as well as for them. You know, whatever. So, okay, then we charge six dollars per client per month per client. Now, I don't care if you sign up somebody that's got 500 locations, okay? We're charging you $6. You might charge them $5 per location because you got to manage it or whatever. You might charge them four grand a month. I don't care what you charge them. I charge you $6 for creating a client in our system, All right? Okay, per mobile website. I charge you $6 per month. Now, you might charge them $12 per month or whatever you charge them if they have a mobile website. You might charge them a $500 setup fee because, you know, you s to spend an hour while you set it all up for them with their landing page for the event they're going to. You can charge them whatever setup fee you want, whatever monthly fee you want. We're, we just charge you $6 when you have a mobile website. Okay? Now, then the real charges and the real way you make money is your message rates. Those message rates go from about, start out at about one point, I'm sorry, about 1.2 cents wholesale to you. But once you hit some volumes, like you're doing half a million, you'll get another break down to a penny. And then a, a million, you'll get another break down to nine tenths of a penny. And then you'll get to eight tenths of a penny, right? You're retailing. So let's look at retail and how you make money on it real quick. Okay. So you might go to a client. This is, let's call this a three location gym okay you charge them 20 bucks per location per month you charge them 0.019 cents per text that they send out um, and if they hit certain volumes maybe you charge them 0.015 okay those three locations build up a database of say 3,000 members per, uh, per per gym and they've got three gyms so it's 9,000 people in their database. Let's say they send out two messages a week to those people that, you know, they send out health tips and videos and all kinds of stuff. Send out eight messages a month. They're sending out 72,000 messages per month. And we're selling it to you at say, you know, at that volume, you know, you've got 25 gems on. We're going to be selling it to you at eight tenths of a penny or nine tenths of a penny or a penny. You're making nine tenths of a penny, you know, or you might be making half a penny just for, easy averages, I'll say you're making three quarters of a penny profit margin. You're making $540 per month plus your $60. That's a $600 net profit. Well, basically $600 net profit minus your $6 of your client cost. <laughs> but so yeah, so you know, you, you make money off text message volume. Let's say you've got a 200 location person. Well, you may only be selling them text messaging at, you know, 1.1 cents per text message because they're doing really significant volumes because you give them price breaks at certain volumes, right? Well, you're doing, 
at that point, let's say they're doing 200 locations times 3,000 members per location times uh, eight messages a month. They're doing 4.8 million messages per month then. And you're making, let's say you're, at that point, you're making three tenths of a penny per message. It's $14,000 a month of net profit. Okay. So you're making margins on text messaging. Obviously, you make smaller margins on people that are doing a million messages. But and you're also giving them great rates, right? And a great application and great marketing and et cetera, et cetera, that you provide them. Um, you also might charge that 200 location client, you know, $5 a month per location. Well, it's another $800 of net profit. Um, it seemed like there was one other thing that I skipped earlier that I was maybe going to show you. Oh, we do have a really great API that you can use. So your developers could do, like, integrate into your system things like, you know, payment notifications, like, you know, in, into individual members. So like, David, your membership subscription failed due to credit card expiration. Please call us to update your info, for instance. Like they could send out that message just to David because when you guys tried to run David's membership, it failed. So, you know, you go through the standard, uh, what I forgot what you call that, not vetting. It's like whatever that process is called where you try to collect the money. But, you know, you could use text messaging as part of that. Obviously, I said you could initiate the welcome to the gym notifications. The, you know, you could do, you could put things in your system. Like if, I, if a member hasn't checked in in 30 days, then you send them the where have you been text message or a coupon to come in or a free personal training, right? It automatically happens because in your system, you realize that member has not been in in 30 days. So you auto generate this message out. Your system could do that. And it's a very simple API call to be able to do it, right? So in, anything that you could think of, you've got this information. You've got this CRM tool for members with millions of members in it. Those gyms, might want to automate certain things, certain messages based on things that happen inside your system. And, and, and you guys would have the ability to do that as well if you wanted to. What else you want to see? Okay. Well, I recorded it. You can, you can watch the video later.